G'day, I'm Dave. Today we'll be diagnosing why a cordless drill might be overheating. To diagnose today's problem, we'll be using two magnetic part trays, one contact cleaner, a super duster or other air source, needle nose pliers, and a multi-bit screwdriver. To diagnose a possible heating issue, we have to look at the two main components of any cordless drill, that being the mechanical aspect and also the electrical aspect. To do that, we'll have to open up the drill on both ends and have a look. We'll start with the mechanical side, which is your gearing, which we get to by removing the four bolts on the top. Once we have the screws out, we're able to take out the front half, which is where all our gearing is, and there's our motor. Check the gearing, then start spinning it, listening for any odd sounds, double check there's no excessive load onto it, and in this case, because it does spin so freely, we can eliminate this as being part of the problem. We then go into the motor next, which simply pulls out, and we have our gearing all inside here as well, and the motor is in the very back side. So the gearing, we remove the cover, and every one of these is slightly different. And we just check again the same idea. We go through, make sure these all turn properly. There is no binding. All the gears turn. And once we've eliminated that as an issue, we can then go into the electrical component. To access the electrical half, we have to move the backing plate. Now, as I'm taking this cover off, I actually have my finger underneath pressing on the gear just to ensure nothing falls out. Take the cover out, and there's my access to my motor, my brushes, and for some thickler drills, you usually have, sometimes have a fan mechanism here for blowing out the heat. In this case, everything's looking pretty clean. What we have to look at then is go a little farther to see if it's brushes that are causing an issue or a little bit too much dirt inside. To remove the brushes, we simply grab the connector and pull. It comes out relatively easy. And we do the same on the other side. To pull out the brush, put it right underneath the hole there. And just give it a little pry and they just slide out. You can grab your needle nose pliers and pull the rest of the way. That's the one. We'll set that aside. Flip it over. And we'll do the same on this side. Hole and just slowly pry it out. Now in this situation, we'll notice the spring is here. The spring is missing on that particular brush. So we look inside and there is our missing spring. Our spring in this situation is more than likely what's been causing the overheating. The simplest solution on this one is to replace our brushes. Here we have three brushes for the exact same drill. Here's a brand new one and you can see it's got a full carbon. Our second one, which is our drill that was actually smoking. We still have half a brush left. And then our third one, where the brush is completely finished. We're gonna just take an extra step and use our compressed air. And we're just gonna blow out all the dirt that's inside there. And then when we finish with the compressed air, we're going to take our electrical contact cleaner and again repeat the same process, just spraying all the electrical parts. Once we have everything clean, all the dirt gone, we're going to reinstall our brand new brushes. Both of these brushes are identical, so it doesn't matter which goes on which side. And they just slide in to this little groove on the top. And once it's there, we just push until it's all the way in. It will take a bit of pressure because these are brand new carbon blocks. We do the same with the other side. You'll hear that click as it goes all the way in and makes final lock. Once we have them all the way in, we put our wires back into place. For that, we'll use our needle nose. Do the same thing on the other side. And now it's just a matter of reassembly. Do any of your tools need a repair? Visit us at ereplacementparts.com and easily find the parts you need and have them shipped right to your door.